Hello, welcome to Finding Truth, Choosing Truth. I'm sitting in some bleachers. There's a sport field in front of me. Uh, where I'm sitting right now, people like to enjoy sports. They like to enjoy winning. Today, we're gonna to talk about voting, winning, how they go together, and how they might conflict with each other. I'll be right back. Let's talk about voting and winning. Now, the, now the first thing I want to get uh, out at the very beginning, and I know there's going to be other episodes that I'll do regarding this subject, but if you are fortunate enough to live in a country where you get to vote, that is an extreme privilege. And not only do you need to vote and, and use that opportunity, you need to use it wisely, which I'm going to talk a little bit about here. And like I said, there probably will be more episodes to talk about. So let's talk about voting and this whole idea of winning. Now, of course, in an election, you want whatever you're voting for to win because that is your desire, right? You're voting for a purpose, right? Whether it be something on the ballot that, you know, is, is, is taxes or whatever it is, or whether it's for a candidate, you want your candidate to win. But here's the problem. Problem number one, if you are not authorized to vote, meaning if you are not a legal voter and you're making an effort to vote so that your candidate that you like or whatever it is that's on the ballot that you want to win, you're already starting out not choosing the truth. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how else to say that. If you are living in a country where you do not have the privilege to vote, you are not a citizen and you are making an effort to vote even though you're not supposed to, you are already not choosing the truth. And even though it may seem like a good thing, it's not a good thing. So we'll start with that. The second thing, if you are voting and you have no clue what you're voting for, if you're voting because it's a certain party or you're voting because somebody told you that you should do it, you're not a very good voter. And what I mean by that is you really need to know what or who you're voting for and make a wise decision based on what you think is the right thing to do, right? I mean, like I said, winning is great. You want to win. But if you are not really sure what you're voting for, what is the point of winning? Is winning just for the sake of winning and being a part of a team that won? What if you're voting for something that's wrong? What if you're voting for a bad decision or a bad person? And that's the next thing, you know, I'll probably talk about this in another episode in more detail, but if you keep voting for a candidate or a policy that is failing because you want your side to win, that doesn't make any sense at all. And so I'm not going to get into this too much, but I'm just going to, you know, kind of cut to the chase, sum it up, if you will. Vote because you have the privilege to vote and voting means something. Don't vote just to win and you have no idea what you're voting for. Just don't do it. And like I always say, it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what I think. What matters is the truth. <laughs>